Writing code is the most fundamental part of the development process. Visual Studio was created more than a decade ago to support this, and it's still a critical aspect of what the VS 2010 family provides. Like every IDE, VS 2010 provides a graphical interface for developers. Here's a simple example. As you can see, the tool provides what a modern developer expects from an IDE. Things like a way to manage code and configuration of files, and a way to show different parts of the code in different colors. The VS 2010 IDE also supports using multiple monitors with different parts of the interface shown on different screens. This same user interface can be used to write code in any of the languages provided with VS 2010. C Sharp, Visual Basic, C++, F Sharp. Developers can also add other languages to the IDE. Microsoft provides Iron Python, Iron Ruby, for example. Other vendors offer other languages, like MicroFocus's COBOL. Whatever language a developer chooses, she creates a project to contain her work. VS 2010 provides a bunch of built-in project types, including projects for creating various kinds of ASP.NET applications, a Windows service, a class library, test projects, modeling projects, lots more. One or more projects of different types can be combined to create a solution. For example, a solution might contain a project with the code for an ASP application, a modeling project with UML diagrams that describe this application, and a test project with tests for the application. VS 2010 also provides toolkits in the IDE for several kinds of development, including Office development, Windows Azure development for the cloud, SharePoint development. This is interesting. In the 2010 release, Visual Studio becomes a real environment for building SharePoint applications. This is a substantial change from previous versions where the tools weren't so great for SharePoint. The tool also provides a group of designers, including a WPF and Silverlight designer, and a workflow designer for building workflows with Windows Workflow Foundation, an OR designer for creating link to SQL object model mappings, and some others. Writing code can be hard. Writing good code is even harder. And so to help developers do this, the VS 2010 IDE includes a number of things. There is a unit testing framework. There's support for static code analysis, which examines code for things like security holes, potential SQL injection attacks, for instance. There is dynamic code analysis with performance profiling and code coverage to show what's being tested. There's code metric support to measure the code's complexity and maintainability. There's debugging support, including something new in VS 2010 called IntelliTrace. IntelliTrace is essentially a way to create a very detailed series of snapshots of a running application. What this lets you do is play back that trace and effectively run the app again, looking in detail at its operation. It can be very useful for debugging and other kinds of things. And software development is more than just writing application code. Working with a database is also important for most projects. And as always, tools can make this easier. The VS 2010 IDE lets developers create database projects, much like the projects used for Windows applications. Like any other projects, these database projects can use version control and build management from Team Foundation Server, TFS. And to help developers create databases and the code that uses them, the VS IDE includes visual designers for tables and queries and views and other aspects of database development. The Visual Studio IDE is important, but in the VS 2010 world, Team Foundation Server, TFS, is also a central component. The data that TFS holds about a project, requirements, tasks, bugs, everything else, must be accessible by everybody on a team. And so to let developers work with this data in a natural way, the Team Explorer tool can run inside the Visual Studio 2010 IDE. Here's how this looks. You can see here the developers looking at a user story 
which is the Agilist term for requirement, the tasks linked to that user story assigned to this developer are also visible. And here, she's seeing one blow up, one set of details about this particular user story. The point is that we're able to look at inside Visual Studio information in TFS. Writing code is the one inescapable part of the software development process. Even though the VS 2010 product family today supports the entire process, the IDE is still a fundamental part of the family. Tools for the basics, writing good code, will never go out of style.